okay so what we're gonna do is get ready to clear out the shed boom right here because we're gonna be making a nursery setup inside of here this is gonna be where the fingerling production stage is at and the um breeding that's what's gonna take place now let me go ahead and creep in here i haven't been in here for a while man let me go ahead and just take a quick look i don't know if you guys can see in there but um you know there's all type of stuff in there so we're gonna open this door pretty slowly man and make sure there's no snakes that's slithering out you know creep in here nice and slowly man you see i got some stuff in here it's a perfect place for snakes to be in here slithering around especially being that that window there is open so i'm gonna get all this stuff out let me make sure man make sure there's nothing in here man you know nothing crazy in here move a few things around look at this man i can't even believe man <laughs> look at this i can't even believe i even tried to put an aquaponic system before with with a tub biscuit headed oh he got caught oh he ain't getting out He's caught all up in the spider web. That's it for him. I'm gonna go ahead and let nature take its course. I've even tried aquaponics with these things, these plastic tubes. Garbage. This right here, these matrix filters or matins, whatever the heck these things are called, absolute garbage, trash, all of them. Not good filters um, for aquaponics. Serious aquaponic growing is what I should add. How do I know? Because I've used them. <laughs> cleaned out got this here i can leave this in here i might use this for something maybe maybe not but cleaned out boom so the next thing that i have to do is just bring pretty much bring the setup in here take this off bring the tanks in here and i really don't have an idea exactly of how i'm going to set it up i'm pretty much going to build it on the fly that's pretty much how i build the vast majority of my systems just come in here scope it out get the material Put it together but from the looks of it i'm guessing that i'm gonna put the tanks coming across the wall here because i'm gonna have the four tanks set up and i think i'm gonna put it across here yeah i think that'll be a good idea i can even, yeah i think that's what i'll do i'm pretty sure that's what i'll end up doing just from looking at it now and i can i have plenty of room in here for fingerlings this is the nursery setup for fingerlings and also for um seedlings Fingerlings and seedlings, they're gonna both be growing in here because there's a multiple stage setup for, I got something in my eye, some sweat. It's multiple stages for both plant growth and fish growth. So you have to have both of those um, phased out properly in order to get the best out of your production and to utilize space effectively. So that's why we have multiple stages and multiple phases. Did I forget something over here? I think I forgot something. Let me see what I forgot. I feel like I forgot something. Yep, the trash. All right, let me grab this. So yeah, you need multiple phases for effective um, use of space. If you put it all in one area, then you're not gonna utilize space very effectively at all. And that matters, especially if you're using, if you don't have much space at all to work with in the beginning. It's just proper production, proper production phases. And it's just the way it is, especially if you have indoor growing. You definitely need to utilize your space as much as, as effectively as possible. So multiple phases, set it up. And um, and yeah, it'll work out on your favor if you do it that way. 
back in the jungle. Man, I'm not looking forward to touching any of this right quick. Look at this, man. These tanks are pretty heavy, man. I'm not even gonna lie. And I, they still have water in them. Obviously, you can see there's still water in them. So I'm gonna have to dump this water out, probably put a pump in here, pump the water out, and then start you know, picking these tanks up. They're pretty heavy, man. These things aren't light. These tanks aren't, these tanks are not light. So I have to get them out of here and then move them all into the uh, shed where the nursery system is going to be at. So let's get started on that. Look at this right here, man. Boy, this fish has been biting the dust for a while. This fish has been decomposing for a while. I got fungus growing out of it. You know, I have to clean these systems out. Clean these tanks out pretty well, man. Get all the bacteria, get all the algae out of there and uh, make these things just pretty much brand new again, so. Come on with it. All right, so it looks like that's pretty much all that's gonna get out of there. Oh, there's a little bit more. Uh, I think that's the end. Okay, so from here, I just have to dump out the rest. Oh, a little bit more. can't make up his mind if it wants to stop or keep going. Any more? Up. Oh. Alright, I think that would be it. Up, oh, a little bit more. It just keeps going, man. Alright, I think I'll just keep it, stop it from there. More? All right, I got the first tank out, boom, right here. Got one of these tanks out. I'm gonna set this up for a breeder colony. That's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna end up getting a breeder colony first, a separate one, because I don't have any more fish right now. I'm starting all the way over from scratch, and we, we're all going through this process together. So I'm gonna start it up with a breeder colony, and then, um, and then from there, we'll get the rest of the fish and the fingerlings from that breeder colony. So this is the tank right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it out. So you can see, boom, we have the quarantine system set up, the quarantine tank set up for the breeder colony that I'm going to get tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go get them tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go get them tomorrow. So when I go get them, I'm gonna stick them in here. I didn't get time to set up the entire uh, fingerling and uh, hatchery set up yet, so I'll do that after I get the breeder colonies um, established and set up. Um, I still have more things to put in here, a heater, some aeration, there's more things I need to hook up to this and I'll do that tomorrow um, while I go get the, um, the breeder. So that's what we got going on from here. There's still some paint left over on this tank. I have to use a, use a razor and uh, scrape it off. But you know, all that is is aesthetics um, and that's all on the outside. So it's not going to do anything to the uh, fish when I stick the water in there. So this is pretty much it what we got going on, man. Quick, easy, basic setup. Very basic setup. Nothing complicated. Um, simplicity is the key. So when we get that set up, I'll keep you guys updated. Woo!